So here I'm holding the right side here is the GT1 Halo and also the left side the GT2S, okay? I'm going to start with the battery. What's up guys, this is me Ying and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to make this video guys. Uh, this video is actually a comparison between these two earbuds, okay? So these two earbuds are actually from Halo. If this is your first time to watch this video, watch this video until the end to see the comparison of between of these two earbuds guys. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel now and we're going to start our comparison, okay? So so here we go guys so here i'm holding the right side here is the gt1 halo and also the left side the gt2 s okay i'm going to start with the battery case of each of this okay so if you want to see this both battery case here okay so it's it's actually the same all right so it's hard for me to tell which battery is good or not but first i would like to tell you that the gt1 and gt2 s is having the same capacity so both of them is having the 310 milliamperes and also the weight is almost the same both of them if you look at, at the back of the battery case is having the micro USB and as you can see both of them is having also the same price so it's hard for me to tell but when I saw in the lower part of the G2S so there's a EAC certificate Okay, so EAC certificate means it met all the technical regulation from the standard. So here in the battery, I would go for the G2S. Next is the earbuds. The earbuds here, I'm going to start with the GT1, all right? So the GT1 is actually familiar with it, with the bean shape of a earphones. And, and then it's kind of convenient and it's just using the fingertip to touch the earbuds and it will bring you to stop and play and forward. It's very, very convenient, guys. Next is the G2S, all right? When you're trying to wear the G2S, so here in front of me is having the earbuds of the G2S. G2S in front of me is having those push button okay so when you try to wear it the right and also the left you're gonna keep on pressing it and then you can hear the clicking sound all right so me I'm not actually a person who loves to press my ears tick tick okay so it's kind of inconvenient for me so here I would like to choose the GT1 next is I'm going for the music experience guys all right so when I tried the GT1 here from the music experience so it's hard for me to tell first which earbud have the great music qualities most of them is having the AAC and also the DSP here all right so here a uh, lot of a compression but when I try to listen to the GT1 it has a very good good quality of bass sound the vocals and also the treble all right while i'm trying to listen to the halo gt2s i also have a good um, vocal and also the stereo and also the treble sound but me i'm a bass person okay so i would like to drop the halo gt2s and go for the gt1 next is the pairing guys okay so here i'm holding first the gt1 here and also the gt2 all right so when i try to wear the gt2s i'm actually having no problem with the uh, pairing here it's easy connect and when you try to connect it to the Bluetooth section area it's just GT2S okay so although it has a master or, or a slave when you're trying to connect it it's very very convenient I didn't have any problem with it okay well the GT1 is actually the first edition the first one all right um, it has a pairing problems guys especially the left earbud the right earbud okay but uh, I didn't say it's it's really not going to work because uh, I've been using this for uh, many months already and uh, get used to it when it comes to the pairing okay and I can see a lot of viewers right now is having a problem with a GT1 okay so just uh, here uh, I would like to choose the G2S when it comes to pairing next is the call quality right so when it comes to call quality I have tried to use the GT1 
and also the GT2S to call with my sister in the Facebook Messenger, all right? So when I try to use the GT2S to call with my sister, um, it's very clear, all right? Uh, it's a bit, there, there's a bit difference, especially when talking to my sister here compared to the GT1. Well, the GT1 is having a clear voice and uh, for me, my opinion here, I would like to go for the GT1 when it comes to call quality. Next is waterproof, guys, okay? So we all know that GT1 is consists of IPX5, okay? So it's a splash proof and also sweat proof. And while well, compared to the GT2S, it doesn't have any waterproof splash proof here so i would like to go for the gt1 okay so last but not the least for the prices it's hard for me to judge about the price okay so i would like to go for a tie because both of them is actually having the 15 to 20 us dollars guys okay so yeah uh so i hope you like this comparison between the gt1 versus the gt2s okay so if you have any comments or questions okay you can comment down below there and if someone wants to have a request I would really like to work it out and if you like this video guys click the like button and also comment below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and see you in my next video okay bye bye